Hey, my name is Candace Mukrie, freedomwithcandace.com. So if you're anything like me, you started in your network marketing industry and follow what your top leader said, your, your, your sponsor said, to go and approach your friends and family. Quickly, you burn all of the bridges with your friends and family because they're just not interested in your business and they're sick and tired of you talking to them about it. And you turn into online marketing, you, but you're not seeing the result. If that's you, this, com this training that's coming up, I'm actually gonna share with you a few different things that I have learned and I have done to turn my business around and able to build a successful business through online marketing. So stay tuned, let's get to the training. So before you go and run to buy another course that costs you $500 to $1,000 to teach you how to grow your business online, I urge you to spend the next 15 minutes and pay attention to this training that I'm about to share with you. It may save you that $500 to $1,000 that you do not need to spend. So in this training, I'm actually going to share with you the secret that you were never told how to grow your business online. You know, a lot of time we have been told by our sponsor how to do this, how to build a business. and and we don't see the result. So I'm gonna actually share with you how I went from spamming on Facebook to dominating in my niche, right? Before I get started, I just wanna know, just curious, how would you feel if you have more leads and sales coming in into your business with little effort working right from your smartphone anywhere? And wouldn't that be great? Just curious, what would it feel like if you could generate 50 to 100 leads in a matter of days with people who actually wanna hear from you? That would be awesome, right? Just curious. What if you were able to do all of this without leaving your house or even get out of your pajama? Sounds too good to be true, is that right? Well, what would that be worth to you? Now, I have done these, like I have literally the last two years, I did not leave my house most of the time, only leave my house to go out to have lunch with friends and doing most of my business in my PJ. And I have also taught a lot of people who do the exact same thing that I have been doing. It could be done. Now, just curious, have you ever gone on Facebook and wonder what exactly should I post to get people to ask me about my business? If you're ever struggling to generate leads online and get customers from social media, you feel like you're, the, you're missing something to get the result that you deserve, you are not alone. I know exactly how you feel. I was there a few years ago. I felt there was a missing piece of the puzzle. And today, I'm actually gonna share with you what that missing piece is. A little bit of my accomplishment. After two years failing building, building my network marketing business, never make enough money in, uh, in my network marketing business to cover my monthly auto ship. And by learning how to market properly online, I actually have accomplished quite a bit in, in less than a year frame after I learned how to market pro properly. I've been on a, a company stage. I have been named as a member of month for recruiting the most people, have been featured in the company success story numerous times. These are just few of the example. Now, Today, I'm actually gonna share with you the five-step online marketing formula. If you mask this five, uh, five step, you could actually build virtually any business online and you will see the result. So why do you need this system? Every network marketing company have a solid system in place for you to learn how to recruit your warm market. I want you to remi remind you this. Network marketing company do have great training, but those training are geared toward to your warm market, not your cold market. They don't have a system for you to learn to recruit people on cold market, uh, online or offline. And which a lot of time, wh what we do is we basically apply the same thing that we did with the warm market to cold market. And a lot of time it does not work because people don't know us. For us to talk to a cold market person, someone who doesn't know us about, you know, taking the credit card out of their wallet to buy from us and join our business is not as easy as our warm market. Now, for a home-based business owner, we have limited budget and time and knowledge to actually build our business. So, this system actually will, could teach you how to do, how to, um, generate leads. And if you learn how to do online lead generation, it's, it's leveraging, right? This is a, a leveraging stage that you could actually apply for a lot of your business, okay? Network marketing, it is a number number scheme. You have been told and it's not a line. It is a number scheme. Um, in network marketing industry, the amateurs, we 
amateur go and convince people to join the business. The professional, they sit in store to find the quality people to work with, okay? If you learn how, you, if you learn this five-step formula, you don't have to chase after people. People have actually chase after you. Here's the difference between an amateur and a, a, a professional, okay? Amateur, they go straight to selling and recruiting. With the warm market or cold market, they just go straight to pitch the sale and recruiting. Now, if you're doing this, please don't take it personal. We just, I'm just sharing you this because I was actually that person and it didn't work for me. Whereas professional, they learn to generate leads. They go on to start generating leads and doing things in the proper order, all right? An amateur, they, do, they go straight to the sales and pitch and try to recruit people and then they're hoping that somebody will sign up, all right? How well does that working out for you if you're one of those people who are doing this? I know when I was doing this, people block me, people calling me scam, uh, uh, you know, scam and, uh, and spam me, okay? With the professional, they actually start with the lead generation, right? They learn how to generate leads, and then they follow up with the lead to find out what is their potential prospects needs are and then they show the prospect uh, the prospect presentation of the business opportunity or the product uh, presentation and then they do the follow-up you know once they show the presentation they do the follow-up to see when you're doing the follow-up this whole different thing and once you do the follow-up you qualify that person and that's when the sign up process begin okay now by doing this, what we use is we use the attraction marketing. Now, what is attraction marketing? It's just self-explanatory. Attraction marketing is basically attract people to you, your brand, your business, uh, who want the benefit of your product, your services that have offered, or having people to chase, you know, you, you, instead of that, you know, you attract people to come to you instead of chasing people and convince them and, and back them into your business, right? Attraction marketing, it's a mindset right it's a mindset that you have set up and so that you attract the people who have the line mindset all right attraction marketing makes you go from selling to to servicing quality people with the content that you put out every single day now with the five step formula step number one you need to learn how to brand yourself now branding yourself it's very important because you were talking, when you go online, we are talking to co-market. In order to, for them to take out the credit card to buy or join you, they need to know you. So you want to brand yourself as an expert or an, as a leader in the niche that you are in so that people would attract it to you. People in nature, they just like to work with um, leaders. They like to follow leader. They like to listen to the experts. Just list, just think about yourself. Why did you join the business? You join the business because you know, like, and trust whomever bring you in. You see that person as an expert at one point, or you see that person as a leader, right? People don't join company. People join people. So be sure to build up that know, like, and trust that we just talked about. People only buy from the people that you know, like, and trust, especially online, right? You won't just go and buy from someone off the street. People go into business with confident leaders, not pitchy salesperson, right? You know, we got it. This is the separation between a warm market and cold market. You cold, your warm market already, already know, like, and trust you. Cold market, they don't know anything about you. So branding yourself, it is very important, right? So that that I want you to take yourself back to why you joined the network marketing company that you joined in at the first place. And that will actually make much more sense to you, okay? Think about branding yourself as this. You know, when you're driving down the street, you want to go buy gym shoes, right? You drive down the street you see this the street sign holder 50% of the same shoes as this celebrity over here holding the shoes and you know the celebrity would you buy from someone off the street that you know nothing about as you buy this pair of shoes from someone who you know like and trust just think about it the celebrity they endorse they endorse the product because people know like and trust them company hired the celebrity because they have built a brand for them right Step number two is growing your audience. You must grow your audience. If you're not growing your audience, you're talking to empty room. More eyeball, 
more money, right? Now, you could grow your audience through your personal profile. You could open, first thing you wanna do, if you wanna grow it on your personal profile, you definitely wanna open your profile to public so that anybody could come and see you and get to know you and like you, right? You want to start adding friends daily so that you could actually have more people. You grow in your audience, you engage with your audience. Definitely, it's a key factor that if you don't engage with them, it's just like you invite people into your house, but you're not engaging with them, they will eventually leave. Just think about you throwing a party, you bring people to the party. If you don't say hi to them, you don't engage with them, they're gonna be leaving, all right? If you're building your business on the fan page, which I suggest you, whether you're building off uh, on your, 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 your personal profile or your, your anywhere else, you still need to have a fan page or business page. If, if on the fan page, you could do a like campaign. You could ask people to like your page. You could also share your page in the Facebook group. You could also drive traffic from blog and other social media platform like Twitter and other stuff, okay? So that's growing your audience. Also, things that you need to remember, never buy followers or likes, okay? If you're building your, 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 your business, other platforms such as the Twitter and Instagram, never buy followers. Those are ghost accounts, they're inactive account. It was, you know, if you post something and you have ghost account there, eventually, you know, nobody engaged with your post, Instagram will start seeing you, seeing your account as ghost account as well. It also, if you want to uh, start uh, running ads, it will throw your ad targeting out the window and render uh, audience analysis. You know, it's just, it's just going useless, okay? So they never buy audience, okay? You, grow, you also could grow your audience by growing your email list. If you're not growing your email list, you are actually not gonna long last in this industry. Make sure you learn to grow your email list because not everybody will say yes to your opportunity product at, uh, at the first time you present to them. If you grow your email list, they are on your email list, you could continue expose them to your products, services, and opportunity, okay? Learn the lead generation system to grow your email list, right? You could grow your email list through your blog, grow your email list through uh, using lead magnet on social media sites, okay? Number three, providing value. You got, this is the part of the branding. You have to learn to provide value. Providing value shows, you know, give people a chance to know you, like you, and trust you. You, providing value show that you're an expert and leader, right? No one log on to the social media to be pitched on an opportunity. When was the last time you say, let me go on Facebook so that hopefully somebody will pitch me on their product, on their opportunity, right? You need to provide content that people want and looking for, like such as motivational quote, tips and tricks, and how-to article, link to helpful information or posts. One of the examples that I give out is like, if you wanna go juicing, right? The first thing you wanna do is not to look for the machine, right? You wanna look for what is the post and kind of juicing, how much does it cost, well, what type of work does it involve, before you even look for the actual product. So if you become that person who write an article about juicing, and teach them, you know, all of these, they will most likely come to you say, hey, which machine should I buy, right? You know, you could provide value by providing a training. Uh, you know, you could provide um, value by doing a video, teaching people something, right? There's different things that you could do to provide value, right? Step number four, now you have your audience. Now you're providing value. They're staying with you. Now you want to convert those audience into leads. By you know, you know, we talk about growing your email list by giving them a lead magnet, right? You want to interact with and engage with your audience. You want to give out lead magnets. Now, what is lead magnet? Lead magnet is basically you're offering something free so that people will give up their contact information to you so that you could contact them further about your business opportunity, service, and product, right? You, so we, we talk about this. They give out all of this. It should be something that they want and they're looking for. It should be free offer or resources. It could be like a PDF file on how to eat healthy without breaking a project, or it could be a training on how to uh, exercise without equipment at home, right? You could actually promote a free webinar, tip, tip, and free coaching section, free consulting, free whatever, so that people could actually 
willing to give up their contact information for the valuable information that you're giving out. So that's a lead magnet. Now I have a couple of things here that show you what lead magnet is, right? I have this one here, free 20 killer posts to boost your engagement on news, uh, on your news feed, PDF. That's for marketer who doesn't see much of engagement. And then I have this one right here for realtor who you know want to promote uh, a free download on how you know what you need to know to buy to buy a house your first house in in Texas. So if you are the person who want to buy the first house in Austin, Texas, you want to know what you exactly need to look for. You could download this and exchange your name, email, and phone number, and then the realtor will be able to reach out to you. So that's what a lead magnet looks like. Okay. Now, number five, follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. You have been told time up to time. Now that you have built the audience, you provide in the content, you generate the leads, now it's time for you to follow up. The fish is just not gonna jump into your boat. You need to hook them with the lead magnet and roll them in with the follow up, right? You need to know the right question to ask. Are they a good fit for you? What problem can your product, your, your opportunity, your product or services solve, right? Um, you must qualify people for your opportunity, right? Some people, they're just not gonna be a good fit for your opportunity. They either have the wrong attitude, the unrealistic expectation. Somebody, some people that require more one-on-one -on -one coaching and hand-holding than you are actually able to provide or willing to provide. So you definitely want to qualify those people. Now that is the five step online marketing formula. And, and actually, basically it looks like this. It looks like a funnel. You're basically driving the traffic from the top of the funnel. So, you know, your traffic coming from the blog, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, right? And then because you're branding, you, you're giving out value, right? And people through your branding, they will find things that, you know, if it's, if it's, relevant to them if it solved the problem if it solved the problem they will see the lead magnet and they give out the they were giving you the, the, the information for you to go back and call them and follow up with them. And that's when you have your CRM, your email marketing, so that you could talk to your prospect. And once you continue to um, nail down to exactly what they're looking for, and they know this is what they're looking for, uh, after that, all you need to do is just call your prospect and you could close the sales and sign up, all right? So that's the four, five step formula, okay? Now, because I applied this five step and within a year I was able to make the money and you know, pretty decent money. And I was being ranked in the, uh, in, uh, the leaderboard, over 20,000 members from all over the place, from, from one of my company. But this simple system definitely provide me with the freedom of a lifestyle that I have always dreamed of, that I have been able to work from home, watch, watching my son growing up. My son never need to be in the daycare because I was there with him all this year because of learning this five simple steps uh, formula, all right? So by now, you're, you are beginning to understand how you can stand out in your niche. By now, you have some idea that you could actually create content around, right? By now, you know you need some tools and resources, marketing training, you need a funnel, you need like blog, you need a CIM system, whatever it is that you need. I want to thank you for your time. If you find this video to be useful and you wouldn't want to learn more about this whole online marketing and with this system here that I just, uh, this formula that I just, just shared with you, you could actually do a lot more, not just on Facebook, you could actually do it with all of the social media platforms. In the description below, I actually offer a free training where you could actually learn how you could um, apply this five-step formula across of, you know, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all of those. So, you know, be sure to go and click on this, um, this uh, link and that you could start the course before you jump in and buy the $500,000 courses. So with that being said, this is Candace from createfreedomcandace.com. If you find this video is valuable, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to um, uh, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I pretty much provide value in this channel almost every single day uh, with new video coming out. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you next time.